You brought a lawsuit against a careless doctor and hospital staff claiming that they were careless and caused you significant harm and injury. And you've heard that during the course of your lawsuit, you will have to answer questions in a process called the deposition. And you are terrified, you are frightened, you are worried about what you are going to say. You are concerned about the questions you are going to be asked. And you have no idea what kind of questions you are going to be asked. Before you actually get to your deposition, Will your attorney prepare you for what to say? Will your attorney explain to you what questions you are going to be asked? You want to know the answers? Come join me for a walk through the neighborhood as I'm heading to work this morning. I'm going to catch the train going into the city as I share with you the answers to those questions. Hi, I'm Jerry Ojinski. I'm a New York medical malpractice and personal injury attorney. The answer is yes, yes, and even more yes. What do I mean? Before you ever get to your deposition, it is going to be critically important for your attorney to prepare you for your pretrial question and answer session that lawyers call a deposition. It's also called an examination before trial. Now, many injured patients and injured victims get the wrong perception when we say that we are going to prepare you for your questioning. Many people think that the words prepare you means that we are going to tell you what to say. And I will share with you that nothing could be further from the truth because it would be improper. It would be not right for an attorney to tell you what to say. The reality is that when an injured patient or an injured client says to me, hey, listen, what do I say when they ask me this question? You know what I respond? You tell them the truth. It's as simple as that. You tell them the truth. Now, one of the key purposes of preparing you for your deposition is to show you and to go through with you the exact questions that you are likely going to be asked during your questioning. Now you might be wondering, how do we know exactly what questions you're going to be asked? Well, any attorney who's been doing this for any length of time should have a clear understanding of exactly the type of questions you are going to be asked and should go through with you and be able to refresh your memory about certain things that occurred in your timeline, in your sequence of events. Nobody is expecting you to remember every single detail of every single event. It's impossible. You don't have to know every single detail of every single event, nor do you have to know the details of every single date and every single time period of exactly what happened to you. But it is important to go ahead and try and refresh your memory since it's likely a couple of years since the incident happened. And now, as you are being asked questions, if you know the answer, you tell the attorney what the answer is. If you don't know the answer, you tell the attorney, I'm sorry, I don't know. There may be instances where you simply forget or don't recall at that moment, in which event you say, listen, I'm sorry, I just don't remember it at the moment, but I remembered it a few days ago. I remembered it last month. I remembered it last year. And that's perfectly okay. There are some instances where the defense attorney will say, listen, I understand you may not remember something now, but if you remember it in the next couple of weeks, when you receive a transcript of all the questions that you are asked and all the answers that you gave, we're going to leave a blank in the transcript so that you can go ahead and fill that information in. And maybe it's an address, maybe it's a zip code, maybe it's something simple that you can look up when you get home. And that's perfectly fine. The purpose of a deposition is not for you to give every single detail of every single event to the opposing attorney, to share with them that wealth of detailed information about your case and what happened to you. No, no, no. The purpose of a deposition is nothing more than for you to answer their questions. And your attorney is going to prepare you extensively about all the questions that you are going to be asked. And it's critically important to pay attention to the question you are asked and not go ahead and give long-winded, detailed information or explanations about something you are not asked about. So why do I share this quick information with you? I share it with you hopefully to open your eyes and to help you understand how these types of cases work here in the state of New York. You know, I recognize you're likely watching this because you have questions or concerns about your own matter. Well, if your matter did happen here in New York and you are thinking about bringing a lawsuit but haven't done so yet because you still have questions that need to be answered, what I invite you to do is pick up the phone and call me. You know I answer questions like yours every single day and I'd love to chat with you. You can reach me at 516-487-8207 or by email at jerry, G-E-R-R-Y, at 
oginski-law.com. That's it for today's video. I'm Jerry Oginski. Have a fantastic day.